prototype was put together in a garage using rubber bands and paper clips. Later models incorporated springs and machined cams, and they gave flyers of the 30s the first fast, simple way to distribute their payloads. Its inventor took its name from the Latin word for balance. He called it a Libroscope. And in 1937, a company bearing that name was formed to produce what may have been the first aircraft computer. The Libroscope company prospered, and at the start of World War II, its experience brought it a Navy contract for a small analog ballistic computer for anti-aircraft gun crews. Since then, Libroscope has played a continuing role in maintaining a far more demanding balance. The balance of power between the free world and potential aggressors. Today, Libroscope is an acknowledged world leader in advanced tactical information and weapon control systems. It is a division of the Singer Company, one of the nation's oldest multinational, multi-billion dollar firms, and is based in Glendale, California. Libroscope is the principal supplier of underwater combat control systems to the Navy, and its equipment is involved in the launch and control of virtually every U.S. Navy undersea warfare missile and torpedo. The current U.S. anti-submarine fire control system for surface ships is the Mark 116, which controls the ASROC missile and the Mark 44 and Mark 46 torpedoes. Submarine fire control system Mark 113 provides for automatic target tracking and control of tactical missiles and torpedoes. The Mod 8 version of this system is currently employed on attack class submarines, and the Mod 9 version is installed on fleet ballistic missile submarines. When the Mark 48 torpedo was introduced, Libroscope served as prime contractor to modify all existing naval ASW fire control systems to function with this improved weapon. Libroscope is currently producing weapon control equipments for fire control system Mark 117, used on latest attack class submarines and fire control system Mark 118, used on Trident-class ballistic missile submarines. Working under contract to the Royal Australian Navy, Libroscope has developed the first totally integrated, all-digital underwater combat control system to reach production. Versions of this system have also been purchased by the navies of Canada and India. Designated the Mark I, it includes two identical fire control consoles, one of which is normally used for threat analysis the other for weapons control. Other major components include a computer and a mass memory system, and a weapon data converter that interfaces the system with the submarines, torpedoes, and missiles. Based on the success of the Mark I system, Libroscope is currently developing the next generation shipboard combat control system, applicable to both submarines and surface ships. The new system is a true integrated tactical action organization system used for display and control of all combat system data. This Mark II system employs multi-purpose, high-resolution color displays, embedded computers, and advanced interactive techniques to enhance the man-machine interface. Libroscope's long-term expertise in underwater weapon control has also led to an involvement in acoustic countermeasures, including decoys and jammers, and acoustic signal processing. Here, a Libroscope-designed underwater delivery vehicle launches a simulated tactical missile. Challenges confronting the ground warfare commander are quite different from those of his counterpart at sea, but he benefits from the same type of applied technology. This plasma display has been called the commander's window on the battlefield. It is the interface between its operator and the tactical computer system a remarkably flexible, computer-based tactical information system developed by Libroscope for the U.S. Army. Major components of this modular system include a digital processor, a fully militarized solid-state mass memory using bubble technology, an input-output module that interfaces all elements of the basic system, and a 1,200 line-per-minute printer. 
The display keyboard module is the focal point of the system. Using its standard keyboard and software controlled variable function and dedicated keys, tactical messages may be received, stored, edited, and transmitted. The tactical computer system carries out upper echelon functions. At lower echelons, the tactical computer terminal performs comparable functions, trading the system's multiple channels and memory capacity for size and mobility. A microprocessor and two communication channels have been scaled down to fit into the display keyboard module. Text and graphics can be received and transmitted. And as with the system, maps can be inserted behind the display panel and viewed with the overlaid graphics. A continuing evolution of this technology is the single subscriber terminal. Small and light, it will be used as a primary automatic message terminal at many army levels to reduce communication time and upgrade accuracy. The single subscriber terminal utilizes a fully militarized magnetic bubble memory cartridge. The U.S. Army's communications control system is in advanced development at Libroscope, the first use of which will be with TACFIRE. The system will eventually be used as a front-end communications processor for all Army computer-based tactical systems. The company is developing data buses for intercomputer military communications using fiber optics. With this tactical display panel, which employs a plasma panel significantly larger than heretofore has been available to the military, Libroscope continues to extend display technology. The company's involvement in large screen laser projected display technology has been extensive. A four color laser display developed for command and control applications presents data dynamically on a 16 by 16 foot screen. Libroscope is currently expanding the state of the art in large screen projection with a system employing a laser to address an image on a liquid crystal light valve which then controls a high intensity light beam directed to a front or rear projection screen. The system is exceptionally compact, permits selective erasure unavailable with film systems, and offers over 2,000 lines of resolution. Libroscope has also developed a sophisticated multiple laser system to create a wide angle visual display for flight simulators. This work was done for Singer's Link Division. Several factors contribute to Libroscope's recognized leadership in tactical information and weapon control systems. First among these is, of course, personnel. The company's long-term commitment to these fields has attracted and held a respected cadre of acknowledged experts. Then there is Libroscope's size, large enough to handle major manufacturing programs, yet still able to provide the quick reaction vital to projects of high national priority. You can see that Responsibility typically rests not with groups, but with individuals. And day-to-day -day problems are resolved quickly and authoritatively by people just across the hall. Libroscope has invested substantially in creating its own technology. A combat systems laboratory explores ways to extract the maximum amount of useful data from the complex output of underwater sensors. This facility can synthesize as well as interpret signals and permits entire combat systems to be evaluated in a simulated environment. Libroscope develops its own software and maintains a software support center for each major program. This ADA software center is being used on new development programs. Interaction between various types of displays and their human users is investigated in this environmentally controlled display laboratory. An electro-optics laboratory generates ways to employ laser and liquid crystal technology to create larger, higher resolution computer interactive displays. Microcircuitry and thin film deposition laboratories provide for failure analysis and other tasks associated with solid state integrated circuits. The environmental laboratory not only facilitates performance testing, but also is used to evaluate components experimentally under a wide range of conditions. 
Much of the high technology found in Libroscope's products is employed by the company to produce them. Systems concepts applied to the entire design and manufacturing process help maintain design integrity, simplify production, and assure cost effectiveness. The Libroscope design automation system interfaces with the many computer-based information systems throughout the company. It captures descriptive information early in the design process and produces component descriptions, wiring layouts, manufacturing data, and maintains complete configuration control. Design automation interfaces with computer-aided drafting, which uses input from an interactive plotting board and three-dimensional CRT projections to produce engineering and manufacturing drawings, including those for high-precision, multi-layer circuit boards. Production processes are linked to the system as well, employing such techniques as tape programmed machining, automated component insertion, and programmed backplane wiring. The automated text processing system helps reduce the substantial cost of manuals, specifications, training courses, and maintenance data. Typed copy is read directly by an optical scanner and stored on disk or tape. A photo printer then prepares final copy in any desired format, layout, or typeface. Okay, now how about the Life cycle support is a critical part of Libroscope's responsibility to the customer. Logistics engineers participate in the design process to assure an easily maintained product. No, not yet. I'll check with uh, Brockway. Logistics support ranges from planning a complete logistics program to the rush delivery of a single spare part to a field engineer halfway around the world. I'd like you to telefax us when it arrives. Since those seemingly simple days when the first Libroscope was built, the world has changed almost incomprehensibly. So have the threats to world peace. Yet Libroscope has steadily held a respected place in the ranks of those furnishing the increasingly complex systems and equipment to counter them. As reaction times grow shorter, as the amount of tactical data to be presented and analyzed expands, as new threats appear on the horizon, Libroscope will continue to apply its experience, its technology, and its facilities to maintain the balance of power on the side of the free world. Thank you.